Atlanta born singer, world renowned tenor. I am just so thrilled that we have John Starnes here today. Come on up here, John, so we can confab, right? Confab. Confab. <laughs> Con oh yeah, oopsie, that L shouldn't have been in there. But you agree with me, that's a real word, we confab. I think confab. it is, I think it we'll is. We'll just have to. Let's have a confab about it. Let's, we'll... let's just do that. What a, what a joy to meet you. Nice to meet you too. How many years have you been singing for God? Uh, over th about 32, 33. Isn't that about the amount of years you've been married too? Yes, yeah. I met my wife, uh, Teresa, back in uh, 77, uh, right at the Christmas, this time of the year we met. Mm -hmm. She sang in a choir. I had just joined the choir in Atlanta, Georgia after singing seven years of rock and roll music. I know that's such a And uh, it was, I had, back then I had long hair and Smoked cigarettes, and I was just, you know, I was just a, a real dude thinking I was coming in there to just kind of take over. And they had some wonderful, wonderful, generous people that were so kind to me, never talked down to me, never tried to straighten me out, just provided an atmosphere and let God do all the work, and what, uh, he did. What was it that brought you there in the first place? Well, I had been there once before, uh, attended that church because of their music. They had a big choir, uh -huh. and specifically, they had a lady that played the harp. And before the service began, I would go in there and they would uh, have that harp music and I would just love it. I just, I just loved it. So mm. that's what got me in there was music. Well, that was a real surprise for me to learn this, that uh, lead singer in a rock and roll band for how many years? Seven years. Yeah. Seven years. So a bit of a tough guy. Hard to, hard to picture now, but. No, I was just a bit of a lost guy. Just a lost guy. <laughs> got involved in everything that was available to me. So anything that would assuage the pain, just, you know, I would just take it, whether it would be uh, the drugs or, you know, all the other things that go with it, so. It has meaning now, I think, because you are very involved in prison ministry. And although most of us look at you and we see you with, with powerful preachers and, and uh, ministering for so many years as a, uh, a clean cut gentleman from the South, <laughs> uh, you can identify with some of these hurting guys. I didn't think I could at first, and I, it was not a door that opened that I looked for or pushed on. It was a door that I backed into. Mm -hmm. And um, the head chaplain of the state of Florida invited a friend of mine and myself to go into all the prisons and all the chapels in the state of Florida, which is over 70. Wow. And to take, uh, I teach walk through the Bible uh, seminars, and he wanted me to go through and, and teach that. So we said yes. We don't get paid for it, but uh, you know, we just said we'd do it. But so. the door opened. Now here are some of the guys. Understandably, we're getting a view from behind. Yes, because they, you know, they don't like us to to photograph their faces, yeah. and we had to get somebody to. One of the prison guards actually took this, and uh, there were a lot more people in there. And what we did was uh, we got the uh, prisoners. This was at the end of one of the seminars, because I'm in there for five hours, uh, five a minimum, hours. with them during a day. Now, do you do the whole seminar? The whole Old at Testament once. seminar. At once. I mean, I've done that. It's a great yeah. walk through the Bible. It's yeah. fabulous. All it's, the the all symbols the for all the symbols for all yeah. the chapters of and God's story. And they get story. into it. They just, I mean, they get into it, and and we just have a have a blast. But that's, I think, why we needed to go uh, up to Tallahassee and meet the head chaplain to, you know, get that five hour block. Of course, we usually have a break in the middle, but it's just wonderful, and the guys just jump into it. And uh, at the end, uh, we have these relationships. We had one where at the very end of it, I. I mentioned, I just said, now listen, here's my little testimony. And I gave him five minutes. And I said, what made my testimony so unique, I think, for me, or what made the difference in my life was standing up in front of a small church and just saying, you call me what you want, but you're gonna have to call me a Christian. And yeah. I said, you've, you've got to make that declaration, a public declaration at some point in your life. Yeah. One guy rose up and he stood up and he said his name and where he was from and he looked around at all the other guys and he said, you call me what you want, but you got to call me a Christian. <laughs> and then a little bit later, another guy stood up, and it was all spontaneous. And it was I was sitting there just weeping, and they, the guys really got my heart. And they just, you know, mm. so I love it. You sing for them while you're in yes. there, John? Yes. Oh yeah. And what's funny is uh, they don't know my history, so they don't. I don't come into them like I would in a church sometimes, mm -hmm. where people have you know seen me on TV. And uh, to them, it's a matter of fact. At the end of one, the guy says, "What is your name?" And I said, John Starnes. And then I heard one guy say, oh, I used to watch you on TV. My parents used to watch you on TV. See, that's the thing about it. Most of them are younger. I mean, we, guys in there are 25 years old. Really? 
There, United States accounts, I just read this the other day, uh, the United States accounts for 5% of the world's population, yet we house over 25% of the world's prison population. Mm. Not what a great do we attribute statistic. that to? Uh, I don't know enough about it. I really Boy, don't. That's I'm not, not good news. Yeah, it's not good. But to get in there with those guys, the thing that drives my friend Ron Miller and I, who started Timothy's Gift, that's our organization, is the fact that uh, Jesus said, when you've done it unto the least of these, mm -hmm. you've done it unto me. And the prisoners, mm -hmm. in our opinion, are the least of the least. They're poor of spirit, aren't they? Yeah. And God has a very special interest in the poor. Why Timothy's gift? What's well, the name? Well, the fellow that uh, he was actually, has been helping and has spent all of his, 100% of his finances trying to get clemency for a young fellow in uh, a prison down in Florida. He heard about it on 2020, one of these, uh, you know, a U.S. Uh, program that yeah. comes on. And so he went down and investigated it, met the guy and just, you know, just fell in love with his case, his story. He's 33 years old, went in at 14 years old. And his yeah. name's Tim Kane. And uh, I have a Facebook page for him, Friends of Tim Kane. And, and so what we tried to do is just, uh, uh, Ron was trying to help him see if he could get clemency. So he's met with Jeb Bush, he's met with uh, Charlie Crist people. None of them have given him a chance at clemency. Mm -hmm. And uh, he went in at 14 years old. Wow, and your friend isn't giving up. No, he's and, and made, are we. become a champion for this young yeah. man. Yeah, and, and, and so really Tim Kaine has uh, spawned this uh, a wonderful whole ministry. ministry. And so here we are, we're already booking uh, with the, it's funny because I'm so used to booking with churches, you know, and that's the part that people never see. And now what we're doing is we're booking with these chaplains to go in next year and we're offering a bunch of different seminars and we're hoping to get other people in there as well, not just me, but uh, as many people as we, can, as we can. I know there are a lot of great ministries out there, prison ministries. And the doors really wide and effective. Oh yeah. I mean, the, others can come on board. The, yeah. And the head chaplain, like I said, he opened the door and then pushed us through. And the first one I did, I was like, oh, I'll do this, but I'm not really, you know, I don't, my heart's not in it, but I'm doing it because it's the door is open. Once I did the first one. You were captured. I was hooked. <laughs> yeah, I was hooked. How thrilling. Now, do you still have time to, I mean, obviously you're up here yes. doing some concerts. Uh, you're, you're still doing your church ministry and singing? I am. If I could spend 100% of my time in the prisons, I would You'd do it. You'd go there. I understand I that. I would. What, yeah. does, what does Timothy's gift, um, how does it appeal to, to the average viewer? How can others get on board with you? Well, we have a website, timothysgift.com. And uh, we're in the process of, you know, getting everything together. If you go there right now, there's just a splash page. But uh, one of the things we're going to be trying to do is get it all together and hopefully, eventually, sponsor other people and other ministries and take care of it. Because there seems to be this disconnect of uh, you either, you know, have to have the open, we have the open door. Mm -hmm. And uh, if we can raise the finances, we'll, you know, find somebody and say, here, let us you know, help you with your transportation and lodging. Let us pay you to go in and, and teach some really, you know, some quality ministries. So this can really expand. I hope so. How many prisons? 70? Over 70, 70 chapels. Zero. Some of the prisons are so big they have more than one chapel. Oh, I see. And uh, what's interesting is talking with these prison uh, chaplains. Mm -hmm. uh, we just got an invitation to go to one and the guy's so excited. He's so pumped up. He's like, oh, I can't wait. And, and when I found out, he said, we have X amount of, of prisoners. And he said, these are hardcore sex offenders. Mm -hmm. And I mean, that's something I never would have. Wanted to touch wanted, with a 10-foot pole. No, I wouldn't have wanted to drive by. I would mm -hmm. have taken another route. And here he wants me to come in. And when you've, you've got these guys that are there, I was uh, reading about, you know, the man uh, in Matthew with a withered hand, and Jesus said, stretch it out. And I was telling somebody in a church service yesterday morning as I was ministering, I said, it's these guys that you can say, stretch out your hand, mm -hmm. stretch out your mind, stretch out who you are, and watch God heal them. If he can heal a withered hand, he can heal a withered soul. He can make a new person. Yeah. Wow. It's, um, th this was a surprise to me, too. B both ends of your life story. The, the rock and roller, yeah. and now the prison minister. Yeah. What does this say to you about, about seasons of life? I mean, you were pretty much locked in. I mean, it was Jimmy Swaggart and Charles Stanley, and, and uh, I, I was looking for you on the cruise promotion to Alaska with Charles yeah. Stanley. They John's didn't not singing. Kid me this year. <laughs> but this, this is a whole new door that's open for you. You could never a, have a, anticipated it. 
You know, it's a door I never planned, and, and uh, I just turned 60 uh, December 7th, and oh. uh, so not too long ago. And one of the things that, that you know, I've, I'm looking at is transition time, and things are changing. Didn't not know what the future's hold and gonna hold, and, and then this happened, this door opened up, and it's just uh, been an incredible thing. And I just, that's one of the things I've been teaching or ministering to people in churches is, do not let age dictate your ministry. Or kill a dream. Yeah, kill a dream. <laughs> Let God give you, you know, a dream. I, I I tell my daughters. Uh, I said, you know, dream big, dream bigger than you could imagine, because I my dream was to sing all over the world. Well, I did that. You've done that. I I wanted to fly, and I flew for um, Brother Swaggart, and flew around the world. So I did that, and I wanted to record albums. I did that, and so I started running out of dreams. And now here God says, no, you've got more. And it He's was a full dream of surprises. He sure is. Now those daughters are in their thirties. Yes, one of them and has a gift. Thirty and thirty-one. Mm -hmm. One of them has a gift of music too. Yep, she's an opera singer. She lives in uh, just outside of New York City, and she's a wannabe. She's uh, struggling. Aww. She's an opera singer who hasn't been discovered yet. So. Mm. And your other daughter? She, Jessica is married and lives in Atlanta, Georgia. And she's an art teacher at a Christian school. Mm. Yeah. It's all good, John. Yeah, it's, it's wonderful. It's all good. And you've encouraged us to be uh, RFA, ready for anything. There you go. God's always into something new and fresh. Yeah. Well, you are going to sing for us. Uh, I'm sure it's the favorite of uh, many. Some of these you've definitely made your own arrangement. I love, yes. love the flavor. It's Christmas tradition. Um, lots of favorites on here. White Christmas, uh, O Come All You Faithful, Away in a Manger, Sweet Little Jesus Boy. That's one of mine that you don't get to hear right. often. Very special. Most of these songs I heard growing up. And uh, it's dedicated on the back, you see, to Rose. And uh, uh, somewhere down in there, maybe it's on the inside. I think but that, it must be inside, yeah. No, that, that's my mother. And she passed away when I was nine. And these were my fondest memories of her were at Christmas. You know, those are the strongest, I guess. And so these were the songs that uh, they would play on the, many of them on the, you know, the, the big records. Those are those discs, right? Records? LPs. The, LPs, that's what you LPs. call them. I think they could have been 78s <laughs> <laughs> back then. But uh, so I remember and, and that to me, the whole Christmas season. So that's what we did this. And that's why we call it Traditions. Wonderful. And 54 piece orchestra. Oh, the great. Heritage Children's Chorale. Yeah, it was great. Some of the participants. This is available, I'm sure, everywhere. Well, through our website, uh, really? johnstarns.com. Oh.